Hello, folks, and welcome back. Yes, it is I, Air, and we are with our six-syllable king, Supalilayuma, though he is off elsewhere. Apologize it has been so many days since I've gotten to show you any Pharaoh content. I had a couple of days that I needed to spend with family, that I needed and wanted to spend with family, and I did, and it was fantastic. So, I appreciate you all putting up with those times when I'm not around. It is not because I'm kicking back in a beach. And, you know, having, having the life. Though that would be fun too, and it happens occasionally. But I can assure you that, generally speaking, that is not going to be the case. So, I think by the time most of you all are watching this, we'll be about 24 hours away from launch. Probably the embargo on reviews is up, but I don't know enough to review the game. Um, I have played the game a decent bit, probably a dozen to a couple of dozen hours, somewhere in there. Not enough to know where I feel on it yet. I haven't really gotten to spend time in the late game, so I don't have a good feeling for how the game is in terms of replayability. Um, so I'm, not, I'm just not going to go there yet in terms of... You know, let's fight in the thunderstorm because I actually think we get buffs from this. Um, so I'm just not going to go there yet in terms of trying to tell you all you know, what I think about the game and drawing any conclusions, because I can't. I I, I'm, just, I'm not available. I, I don't have the knowledge yet to uh, to make the review. Um, this is one of our reinforcements, and the other one is up behind the enemy. That's interesting. Well, I definitely want to get some of these guys behind me. Uh, I'll put these cheap um, militia... I think these are the two-handed club infantry that have a pretty solid charge. I'll put them in the middle. I'll put some swords behind them to back up any weak spots that appear. Uh, there are chariots opposite us. This weather won't be kind to our bows, but we'll make the most of it. Okay, we'll do something like this. Start the battle. Um, there are heavy chariots on the other side. So it'll be our first time to try and deal with them. Um, these spearmen will be better against the chariots. And I'm thinking I'm going to kind of keep some of them handy. The enemy chariots usually like to come for your flanks just based on how the AI is kind of pre-programmed to behave. So I'm going to do something like this, where I'll have a little bit of reserve, and then I do have a single unit of javelins, and javelins are also very good against chariots, so I'll get those into position. We've now got a pretty sizable force, uh, and we had a single commander from our garrison show up behind the enemy. I'm actually going to move him into the woods here and hide it, and then might be safe. Depends on how curious the AI wants to get. I'm going to start moving across the battlefield. Marching through a thunderstorm. Oh, whoops. I think I accidentally, like, turned them around. Yeah, there they go. Um, yeah, marching in a thunderstorm. Definitely a good idea. You should hang out underneath the tallest tree. But before you do, you need to go to the top and tie a large metallic object to it. And then start dancing around the tree. Um, singing to the gods of thunder. Demanding that they give you a sign of their existence. That's typically the best thing. Uh, you know, maybe not advice you want to take, but it's advice you can take. I have to admit, though, man, I hope they don't this looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the storm and stuff, that looks pretty sick. That's nice. Man, I do wish Warhammer had some of the nicer texturing and skybox and stuff that this game does, though. I really do like the unit modeling on Warhammer. It's really quite beautiful. It's a different style graphically than this, so they don't have to look exactly the same for me to think that one is better than the other, but, I mean, this one... This game does get, I mean, not to say that it doesn't have its, you know, moments where I'm less impressed with it. Look, we got mud over here because of the storm. Um, I don't want this on right now, by the way. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, anyway, very beautiful. Take a moment to enjoy it. This mud and stuff like this will cause big time issues for units like chariots, so, would be kind of cool if we could force them back onto the mud. The AI is not going to just come after me at the moment, they're going to want to hang back here. Um, and that's fine, they can do that. But again, when this unit moves close to us, we've gotta get spears on top of it. We've gotta fill it full of missile fire. Um, it will definitely cause a lot of damage to us quite quickly, and we'll wanna be ready for that. All right. I'll let my folks go ahead and wheel up in. The heavier units, of course, are slower. It's gonna take them longer to arrive. There's something to remember, that I, I think that Troy and this game both do well. These heavy units really get bogged down going through this mud. See how much slower they are? So you really have to be careful with the terrain like this. I wasn't particularly worried about it on this battle, but 
you can see just how bad these units get slowed down. The heavier they are, the worse they do going through that wet, muddy, sloggy terrain. See, same thing here. Weight class heavy. This unit has taken a long time to get across the battlefield. They get really bogged down in that mud. So that is one of the disadvantages to the heavy armies. And see, the lighter units, some of them can even move through this stuff at the same speed, uh, which is really cool. So again, knowing your army, knowing what you got available, trying your best to make use of it. Let's go ahead and fast forward, get all of our units into position. Like I said, these heavy infantry take an exceptionally long time to get lined up. Though Some of our units, like I said, though, do get a bonus during the storms, I believe. They called it, like, Thunder Warriors or something. I don't remember what it was. Hold the Flame. Yeah, Thunderstorm. Some of our guys are suffering in the Thunderstorm, but others, I want to say, we're getting some kind of buff from it. If I had seen it right. Is it this one? Yeah, Storm Warriors. Unit suffers lower penalties. Sorry lower penalties. So they all still take a penalty, it's just some of our units are not penalized as bad as normal. Good to know. I remember seeing that. I think it'd be cool if some of your units like straight up perform better. Like that'd be that'd be neat. It would be something to really set them apart. Make it unique. Okay, now that we have these guys relatively fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling up this heavy infantry behind them. And I need to be careful here. Oh, here comes the enemy. Never mind. No time to be careful. Time to charge. I'm hoping the enemy will go ahead and come on down here with their chariots. Yeah, here they come. Okay, turn off fire at will. I need a... I don't need melee mode. I need guard mode and target the chariots. We're a little bit blobbed up here. Target the chariots. And let's bring the spearmen over. And I need the spearman to come get behind the chariots. So we're going to try and bracket them in. You can see I'm hitting them hard with some bow fire. But of course my bows are going to be limited in this, this nightmarish weather. Okay, our... Oh, I thought our general was mostly dead. I was seeing that improperly. Okay, yeah. I've got a spear unit up here to help hold. So I've got their chariots controlled. I've got a heavy spear moving up behind them here. I've got one this... Okay, chariots just went into my heavy spearman. And they didn't get the best charge, so now they'll be bogged down. And this unit gets big bonuses versus chariots. So this is kind of the best way to deal with chariots is don't really give them anywhere to go. And then feed them missiles as quickly as you can. I'm going to go chase that javelin unit, and I'm going to move this general around. There we go. The chariots are a non-factor now. And I think some of these units... Hold the flank, melee defense, speed. Eh. I could do that one. I'll do that for a minute on one of my spear units just to help make them a bit of a tougher force in terms of holding. I'm going to start lobbing some arrows into the enemy leader and caught one of those units. I'm going to go try and pin the other. And we are pushing on up through. Let's get these two lighter infantry moving as well. And then I have this axe unit we'll go use. I'll clean up this fight over here. We've pretty much got the enemy where we want them, though. This is a fight that's not terribly concerning to me. Let's move this axe unit up here as well. Try and get rid of that javelin. Come charge into the back of this. Spear commander there. Alright, yeah, looking good. We've got these guys pretty much rolled up on. Pull this unit back out, because it's pretty beat up. Same thing here. I'm going to pull up some of these units that are a bit thrashed. I love how this slinger gets caught up in the heavy spear unit that's well-armored. I mean, they're going to be getting absolutely spanked in a fight like this, these slingers. Very light units. Definitely no place for them to be. Alright. Try and move some of these units around. Move these axemen around and we'll, we'll go for kind of a final surround here. These two-handed clubs will be good to lay down a good charge over here into the flank of that armored Anatolian sword. This fight over here on the flank is about to break up. And now we're going to go ahead and just throw down with everything we got. 
against all the units in the middle, and the morale is falling apart for their Ready units for out on the flank. No surprise, because they are With me, completely and totally outmatched. You can see here the Hittite rebel defenders stuck in the middle. So this is going to get rough for them. Definitely not going to be good. There's some tough units in here, though. They won't give up super easy, which is why I surrounded them. Else you'll end up fighting for a whole lot longer than you really want to. Like this uh, Sword and Shield Bodyguard is a unit that will not easily give up in that fight. They will fight through a considerable amount of opposition. So that's why I'm dumping arrows in there and do my best to make life miserable for him. Let's bring more units over. Ratchet up the pressure a little higher. There goes two more units. This is going to get contagious even for the bodyguard. And that's it. So the Hittite Rebels are going to be defeated. I might go ahead and run down some of their units here. Um, just because we can. Like, I'll send my bows. These lighter units might be good at running stuff down. So I'm going to fast forward for a minute and try and kill off some of their fleeing units. So that hopefully they don't get to put them to use again. Sometimes the AI will get that, where you'll be trying to kill off their units and... They just keep coming back for seconds. There we go. So they are fleeing. And sometimes the units kind of break up. The entities in the unit will head different directions. Nice. I would have thought my light units could keep up with their heavy units across that mud a little bit better, but it wasn't great, to be honest. But we got rid of the bodyguard, and that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and end the battle. But yeah, hopefully you all are excited about the release. Uh, well, I say hopefully you are. Some of you will be. Some of you will not be. That's fine. That's the way it is with any Total War game. My suggestion would be this. You're, you're going to hear a lot, probably, about whether the game is good, whether the game is bad. Make the decision for yourself. You can... You can go get the information however you think you should in order to make that decision. I'm not going to tell you how you have to get the information to make the decision for yourself, but I would say make the decision for yourself. Air, er, are you supporting the game? No, I'm also not going against it. I'm just saying make the decision for yourself. That's why I'm not driving you one direction or the other. I'm giving you the advice that I always give you when a new make Total War game is out. Because a lot of people say, well, what would you do? Well, I tell you what there I do. I buy all the Total War glory. games. So I'm probably not a good sounding board in that respect. And like I said, I don't really have enough time in the game to give you like a super in-depth or reliable review. That's just not something I can do at the moment. Um, so anyway, here we go. So we're sieging these guys. We pretty much have them. Looks like we could auto-resolve this and just be done with it. So let's get Ziplandia here. And Hat USA is going to extend its influence. We have more enemies, though, if I remember right. We ended up in more wars, and so we definitely needed this one cleaned up so that we could focus elsewhere. So I'm going to occupy here. I'm going to take a quick assessment of our economy again now that we have occupied Ziplandia. And we are getting some food from a barley field. We can also build a livestock field, which will give us additional food. And then there is this building here, which again gives us additional food. So we can get a lot of food from the settlement, which is probably a good idea. Happiness, probably need some of that too to turn around some of the issues that we're facing here. So um, yeah, anyway, Amasia is the last settlement of this region and it is controlled by a different faction that I'm not at war with and really don't need to go start another war at the moment because we have one on our Western flank here um, against those uh, occupying An Ankara and Kyra. Um, so we will try to take that next. I'll have to use this army to we continue to mop ruthless. up rebels, and then I can take my main army over to assault the other factions. So I think that'll be my goal. So let's get rid of these Hittite rebels here. They certainly made life difficult for us, but the gods all this fighting, see that? Like, that was a turn's worth of food loss right now. We gain Hittite legitimacy too doing all this fighting. Um, you can replen your units further. You can get additional food and bronze. <clears throat> Whatever it is that you think you need. 
Um, all these would be helpful. Plus, that's getting skill points for our new commander here. And he definitely needs the skill points. Um, so I'm going to continue to just reduce the upkeep cost. Again, that seems like the most logical go-to here. I do not have a shield available for him, unfortunately. Vex details. Traits, unacquired traits. We have unacquired traits. Your general is predisposed to this trait. Wave. Gained by spending turns in an ambush stance. Cowardly, brave, by recruiting sword Kopesh units and by suffering fewer casualties to the bodyguard unit in battle. Okay, so these are traits they can pick up under certain circumstances. That's interesting. Okay, titles. Someone was saying that like I have titles, and maybe it was in my other one that I haven't used. I There's none unlocked that I'm aware of. If I'm missing something here in the titles, please let me know. I'll go check Super Liliuma real quick as well. I will not and let my let's kingdom see about his... Yeah, he has a title available. However, the question is whether I have one that is ready. I think we can use any of these, right? I think it's actually the one that's, that's colored. I think we're missing three, which is why that's red there. Like we gotta, ha yeah, we have to have three on the prudent or fortitude and then ardor so we we can't use this one but we could use this one overseer militia it just gives me a little extra recruit rank which sure i guess not gonna hurt anything for now all right did our upgrades i would love to do an upgrade besides upkeep cost reduction but i need upkeep cost King reductions and i need them quite badly uh, because we cannot have enough armies at the moment and we may need more um, before it's all said and done. So. I am always ready. This is our war. Let's get Ziplandia buttoned up here. Um, it's got a recruiting building. I don't really need a recruiting building at the moment. As far as other buildings go, wow, man, that is a ton of food income there, too, in another building. So, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could get an absolute crap ton of food out of this province, plus we can increase its production there. Punishment, happiness, influence, movement. Huh, another tiny bit of food income here. Not much, but refugee center. Upkeep minus 10% if they're in the province, so don't necessarily want to spend on that. I don't think that would come in super handy. This one is going to produce 5% more food, so again, that could be a handy building. Um, lots of things that could come in handy here. Under the military support, that is also the one... No, that doesn't give us the garrison. It's this one that's going to give us the garrison. We will want a better garrison as that becomes available. We don't have the stone for it right now. So I may take a look at my pending... Oops, I clicked off the screen by accident. Take a look at my pending actions here. We have expired barters. These Your are probably... Looks like I was offering stone for bronze. I need my stone right now, so I'm not going to offer that up. Um, so let's just hop out of there. And let's take another look here. Court actions. The thousand gods bear witness. We have pretty good favor we with this dude. To noble work. Gain three court actions until the end of turn. You gain three this court actions, right? Come up here and then we can, we can just do some gossip. Use this to get a whole bunch of... We can Why do this are we whispering? and basically oh, get ourselves a whole fun. bunch of favor across the board that we can use on the next turn. So there we go. That ended up working out good. So that should use up all of our court stuff. Uh, it says we have an imminent rebellion uh, again at Hattusa. Or Hat USA. Remember to come get your newest brimmed hats. Made from the skin of our enemies, no doubt. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. Uh, <laughs> I guess I went there. 
All right. That is nothing if there is another rebellion, we'll be all right for a turn. What else we got? Settlement upgrades available, but I really don't have a lot of stone. I think I'm just going to save the stone, and we'll repair this other stuff later. None of this other stuff is absolutely critical. Let's end our turn and see what happens here. Yeah, I'm excited to get into the late game of this. So I am going to play through an entire campaign on Pharaoh. I think at the moment I'm leaning towards finishing this one because I kind of just like the Hittite units um, at the moment with Super Liliuma. Um, so I'm going to stick to that for the moment. Uh, but I mean, if there's like a huge outcry and people would have rather seen Kalsirat, that's fine. I can go down that road too. I mean, I'm not like insanely sold on one or the other. But I, I kind of like these heavier armored units. Digging, digging the, the battle play style a little more with the Hittites. Uh, we can trade our court action for gold or we can refuse. Let's refuse because I think I have some cool stuff I might be able to do. Um, let's head in there. Court action's available. We've got influence on the high judge, the lawgiver, the commander. So, what do we got here? We can take a ruling, so we either see the chance to make a ruling at the case of the judge. Sure. What happens? What is, what is... Me to concessions I never usually make. Take ruling. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but I'm, I'm curious now. Bots cannot be used this turn. All used requests will be refreshed in the following turns. So yeah, I don't know what the take a ruling means, so... Now I'm just curious to see. Oh, here it is, okay. Nobles, dead warriors. The high commander rode across the land, these lands not long ago to hire my soldiers for his campaigns, but where I once rejoiced to lease brave souls to a man of legend, now greed for a tale of betrayal is all I came to know. His only legendary exploit was refusing them the comfort of promised coin as he led them to the slaughter. I would request what he owed as compensation for their sacrifice. May the coin protect me in life as they no longer can in death. So preside over a case. Yes. So we gain we lose 60 regard with the high commander. But we gain happiness in the province. Justice served, justice served, diplomatic relations, and a crap ton of food. We can defend the commander, which is going to make people there unhappy, but we gain a lot of uh, regard with the high commander. Or we can decide later. Now, I, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take the pile of food and make the commander mad just to see what happens. Alright, just because we can. Ooh, a legacy here. So, choose an ancient legacy to follow. Each provides different boons as you follow in the footsteps of the great leaders of the past. This choice will mark your rule and cannot be changed. Huh. See, so we can be the benevolent or we can be the overseer. So keep your vassals and your subjects happy. Let their gratitude strengthen you. And I figure I'm probably pretty bad at keeping people happy. Give your power or give power to generals by elevating them to princehood. Hmm. I mean, it's nice to be benevolent, but... Princehood. Okay, <laughs> so we're the overseer. It says, give power to your generals by elevating them to princehood. Select characters to become Hattie Princes and unlock special titles for them. In addition to powerful effects, prince titles increase competencies. That's good. Uh, give each prince the privilege of managing a vassal. Their prince's title effects will be improved. A prince can hire native units from the territory of the vassal they manage, win battles with the prince to increase relations with their managed vassal. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Point a general on the slot. We got this guy here. We're gonna point him as a prince. <clears throat> and let's see, prince titles. Demon of the night, now that would be pretty cool. Can we remove this and put those on? Yeah, okay, sweet. So these unlock the special titles, so ancillary chance gain. Recruitment slots, plus two, dang. Minus 15% recruitment cost. I'd rather that be upkeep cost. Here we go. This one reduces upkeep by a lot and gives us extra fortitude. And it helps the army gain more experience. <coughs> this one gives better presence. Those two look basically the same, are they not? Okay. One is XP and Fortitude. This one's Presence XP. Ardour, Fortitude, Presence. 
Um, let's go down this road. Alright, so we got the Royal Steward here. As his title. That'll work. Assign titles. Good deal. We'd have to recruit another general to get another prince. Is that based on the number of vassals that I have currently? I'm assuming so. Well, now I might have a reason to actually get vassals, because I was very hesitant to get vassals in the past. Uh, let me go into my diplomacy and take a look here. Yeah, we do have one vassal as Tijuana, and I fight for Hati. that is the one that we just basically appointed the prince over. All right. For Hati's glory. For Hati's glory, indeed. We have two of the food buildings already. We can build this one as well. Really want to crank some food out of this province. We fought hard to get it. King of Hati. All right, I think I... <laughs> yeah, we did get rebels already in this ruthless. turn. It's okay. This will get this guy again. skill points and up-level him up. Wow, they have two heavy chariot units. Two heavy chariot units. We do not get a whole bunch of reinforcements. The rest of their army is pretty well trash, though. So here's what we're gonna do. I think we can. I think we can take them. Let's fight them. All right, the enemy is out in front of me. I'm gonna use the woods for cover here, and basically get as close to them as I can while keeping as many of my units in the woods as I can. With the objective being that if the chariots are gonna charge me, they have to charge into the woods, which will reduce their effectiveness and allow my archers, hopefully, help deal with them. So here we are. I'm moving my units up. And we are very nearly in position. We're going to actually kind of crank this army off to an angle here to really get most of them up inside the woods here in a manner that I think, think, will be effective. So let's see what we can accomplish here. All right, um... They're just outside of range still, unfortunately. Move up just a little bit more. Still don't think... It feels like bows have a little bit short range on here. The slingers have the better range, but... Okay, here come the chariots. They're going full suicide. I'm gonna have to move the archers back because, like I said, the chariots are going. I mean, just absolute full on suicide here. Alright, so what I'm gonna try and do is box the chariots in. They will cause a lot of damage, they can potentially ruin this battle for me real quick. Alright, I've got one out here. I'm going to start putting some fire on it. And basically, I'm going to try just get out of here and surround the enemy and cause as much trouble as I can. See there, I'm dumping arrows into the chariots, so we should be able to get rid of one of the chariots really quick. Which is good, because they are causing tremendous damage. They've already got 20 kills, and who knows how much hit point damage. But one of them is about to rout. That should be just about it, and I'm going to target the other one. There they go. Take it! All right, we got one chariot routing. My clubman can now move in from behind. The other chariot is moving off, but after having savaged my two-handed clubs, and no surprise, the two-handed clubs are not armored. They do not brace well, and they do not have any type of bonus against chariots. They are just utterly vulnerable to chariots. That chariot cycle charging, so the AI actually making pretty solid use and it's not good. Those chariots are causing me fairly extensive damage at the moment. Yeah, they're now charging back out, trying to turn around and get some speed to come back in for another pass. Not a bad call. I'm going to dump a bunch of arrows up into the enemy commander. I'm going to chase those. There we go. That's going to do some real damage. That commander's armor is pretty much gone. Here comes the chariot. It is going to absolutely smash into the back of my guys back here. But I'm going to tune all of my fire into it. It actually slowed down a lot quicker and easier. But, I mean, it did 
really bash up my guys, but they took a face full of arrows for their trouble. And now they are routing, and we have shattered the enemy. So, no more rebel chariots, please. Uh, where are the chariot or the rebels getting chariots anyway? It doesn't really seem like a rebel weapon. It took a lot of upkeep. They're expensive. All right, so rebels dealt with again. Who knows how many more times we're going to have to deal with them? If I take this one here, I could offset some of the uh, the loss of bronze that we're having at the moment, which wouldn't be a bad idea. We pick up a little bit of wood as well. We're very meager on stone free. income. I may still have some trades going that's causing that Fake to be less weapons. as well. Veteran of Hattie. Let's get rid of the rest of these guys. I will ascend. We get reinforcements here as well. Yay! It's going to kill off a couple of my tribesmen. Not a big deal. There could be worse things happening. Let's just get rid of these guys. The gods themselves envy us. Take, take a little bit more to the treasury there. And Always then I'm going to head back to Hattusa. We're going to need to recruit some more troops here. Death is nothing to fear. Recruit. Javelins would now be pretty darn handy um, against these. And Hittite tribesmen are not particularly well armored. But they get a pretty decent charge bonus because they're a two-handed weapon. See there, they get significantly better charge. Those axemen actually get a pretty decent charge bonus, but they require the bronze. Um, and then, of course, these Hittite spearmen are, you know, less charge, more armor. Very tough units, but they also require the bronze upkeep that we're not really in a great position to upkeep at the moment. So I think I'm going to keep the two two-handed clubs that I have, but I'm going to pick up a couple of these strength. tribesmen. In their place, and then honestly, the last batch didn't a couple of these uh, javelin throwers would be excellent against those chariots. I don't know though. I think our archers are probably doing well enough, and we'll just deal with it then. Okay, all right. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, we need to go resettle that area. I will not let my kingdom. Happiness is going to be sunder. poor over here, but I do need to move along um, with. Super Leliuma. Great King of Hati. So I'm gonna do so. King I'll have Hati. to send um, the other army over here once it finishes the recruiting, and we'll we'll try and you know, get this province uh, buoyed up from a happiness standpoint. I would definitely like to get the better garrisons here as well, but it's gonna require me to get some upgrades, and I probably need more stone in the process. We have decent wood income. Let's see, settlement upgrade available, where is that? Gonna... Uh, sure. It's pretty good. We have some damaged settlements. It cost us some coin and stone. We don't have enough stone to do it anyway. Alright, um... Nothing else that we can take care of at the moment. Let's end our turn. And then we'll swap these armies. If, they, if I give them food, they'll give me some stone, and it's only a one-time deal. Let's take that. Gets us in on the good side of that guy, and it's not a huge deal one way or the other. But, I mean, we're not exactly, like, rolling in stone at the moment. No rolling stones joke intended there, and that just came out that way. Speaking of stone, this would get us a thousand. Make sure they're destroyed or confederated. We could go for it. I'm gonna be headed that way here very soon. For Hattie's glory, follow me. Charge at them. Hattie will rise again. We're gonna again. colonize this. Oh, Resettle. Our point. enemies burned it down, but I think that we're no longer at war. We're having to deal with them. We I'm gonna swing this army over here because otherwise the happiness in this region is gonna tank pretty hard, pretty fast. But we'll definitely need to potentially fight off some rebels. Now, happiness is probably improving here at the moment. It is. Because we're kind of getting things resettled. This should be appropriate. Another expired barter. This is an because that was one turn. Now he's suggesting that I give them stone. I thought it was the other way around last time. No. Sorry. I need that. Um... We're actually making a fair bit of stone once again, so I'm going to let that pile up because I'm struggling to make settlement upgrades and stuff. We do have a royal decree available to us as well. 
speaking of stone being a weakness, we could go that way. Just 10% stone over here, too, if we go through this one, which is extra XP. Let's do that. Won't be a bad thing. So we took care of the Royal Decree. Got another court action available. We have a lot of influence here with the Lawgiver. We can embezzle some funds off of him. Your intentions seem sincere to me. I cannot refuse. Yeah, you better not refuse. We got pretty good legitimacy here. Well, I mean, it's because we are the great king, you know. That's, that's kind of us, so... Yeah, we, we are quite legitimate at the moment, it appears. Let's see, pending actions, construction available, it had two uh, settlement upgrades. Alright, this is in my second area, and yes, I do want to upgrade that. I want to get these small settlements upgraded. It's going to take some time. We have a commandment available at Hattusa again. And I'm going to go back to Royal Gardens to help boost our production. Supuliuma. Noble of heart. Got this place back on track. And let's end another turn. See what if anything goes down here. Enemies, we need to head over to the west. We're going to need to go face them. Oh, where did these guys come from? Who, who are these people? Where'd they come from? What they doing? I don't know. It says we're gonna lose. Um, I don't think so. I think we can probably take them. I was actually sitting here thinking when we started loading in, is this one of those raider factions? Like that just comes Hold after you? Brothers. It may be, I don't remember. Clubs. Um, the enemy has completely gone to one entrance, and what I'm gonna do is set up my more defensive units to kinda Victory brace away. for the charge. I'll chuck a few javelins into the approaching enemies as well. Right away. And then we'll counter charge, and I've got my commander right back here too. I think we can hold these guys out. The they don't have any skirmishers, but they do have several two-handed club units. So they're going to have pretty substantial offensive power. Uh, we're going to need to whittle them out with our, our javelins. Okay. Here they come. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So I've got control of both these buildings. Tower provides its bonus to the side that holds it. What is that bonus, though? All right, here they come. They're gonna come screaming in. As commanded. Spear wall. Throw your javelins. All right, run away, actually, because they are charging extremely fast. That sucks. Those guys did not run away like I thought they would. I get up there and cover the retreat of my javelins. Kind of braced into a spear wall with this unit at the moment. And let's see if I can put javelins into the back of that commander. And then I'll use this javelin unit. Oh. Get out of there. Back. Okay, we are going to come and clobber it right into here. I need to get these javelin units into better position. Alright, there we are. We're going to be able to get them behind there. Let's try. I'm actually trying to sneak through this tiny little gap here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but if I could, it would be extremely effective. There you go. There you go. You can do it. Break on out. Now turn around and chuck your javelins from there. I'm trying to get this other unit through. Get into a defensive stance, please. I'm struggling with this unit to get them through. I need to hurry and get them through here, though. We got a perfect shot right into the back of the enemy commander, though. 
My own general is getting some good flank damage in. Pull through. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna pump some javelins into the back of this fight. All right, now I got two units going straight into the back of that enemy commander. And he's tied up with an axe and a club Access. unit anyway, so there's a fair bit of armor piercing. Yeah, we're eating through his armor with those javelins rather rapidly. I don't know if we're winning, though. <laughs> I'm not convinced we are. If we get all these javelins discharged into here, maybe. You're definitely hitting the armor there really well. All the units in here are suffering armor-wise, but I would assume mine are as well. Yeah, they are. Those charges were a little bit brutal. But it, taking the commander out of this fight, of course, would make a huge difference. So I'm going to continue to just absolutely pour javelins into this fight. I'm going to actually put my guys under a defensive stance. I don't want them chasing a unit if it routes, because sometimes they can get themselves killed. Right, that unit is out of ammunition. He died, I need to get all the way in, point blank here. Not waste time. Supposedly we're doing okay, Glory. according to the power bar. I've got a Javelin few more volleys down. here, two more maybe. we got one of their units wavering. Beat it to him. I think about one more volley. There we go. All right, now give it to him. All right, so now I should get a full-on rear charge. That got those two-handed clubs onto the run. Two of their two-handed club units now routing. Make them tremble. We gotta make this contagious. We gotta make it happen. Their axes are still fighting valiantly. I wonder if I can get a rear charge from here on over into this axe unit with my commander. A little bit risky, because he's tired and engaged as well, being chased. Yeah, that's kind of risky. I don't know if that was a good idea. I was hoping maybe that could help curb the enemy morale, but it probably just caused me more damage than it did good. And I've now got both my infantry units wavering against this elite spear commander. I'm actually going to take one of these runners and chase some of these routing units. We don't want those coming back. One of them's shattered, the other one is not. Enemy commander just took a lot of damage right there. Like he may have been pursuing one of the units that I was just running away with. Oof, my commander died. At least I'm pretty sure he did. That sucks. Ready for battle. Kill them all. Devilins. I need Armor this unit to stay gone. I know I need units down here right now, but I also need this Strike unit to purpose. not come back. There's a fair few club infantry left there, so I'm going to pursue them and try and keep them gone and hope for the best back all here in terms of my, my unit. Yeah, my commander died, but we are gaining ground in the power bar, and the enemy commander just routed. So that does not bode well this is hopeless. for my enemies. Alright, yeah, that two-handed club cannot come back and make any more charges because I have it pursued. So my commander paid with his life, but we got the job done. We were able to use that choke point, and we were able to discharge all of our javelins. And that made all the difference in the world. Be gone, you filthy raiders. Okay, I need some unit replenishment in case they come right back to fight me, which they very well might. That, that's, that's a thing that's pretty frequent from the AI. That's Barter, Kingdom Updates, Commandment Issued, Buildings, Battle Reports. I, am busy right I think now. these guys are just raiders. Go like, I don't even think we Please. can have... Uh, relationship with them here. I'm pretty sure they just raid. Are you lost? Let's go take a look. Victory objectives, local deities, diplomacy. Settled Canaanites. 
yeah, it does not look like something that we can negotiate with. So I think it's just one of those raider factions that occasionally comes through raiding. It's kind of like a mechanic or something to like a horde army or something. Rolling through. I will not Scoot let over my to kingdom USA. Be asunder. Then we're gonna have to come back over here, so we're gonna have to swing across this province. We're busy rebuilding this settlement. Happiness, though, is improving very rapidly. Very rapidly indeed. That is good to see. Did we get to tier three over here? We did. There is. I don't believe anything for me to do in terms of building a garrison here. Yes, there is actually, right here. So I need 600 stone to get a good garrison. We're getting about 200 a turn. So I'm gonna wait a few turns and I'm gonna build this. So I'm not going to build anything there at the moment. And if anything else, yeah, it's using a little bit of stone. But it does help my food income nonetheless and it helps it a fair bit. Let's do that. But we need to st save some stone or go barter for some stone. They'd probably do like a one-time barter of some food for some stone. We're losing bronze at a decent clip here. Uh, let's see, court action available. The thousand gods bear witness. We are called to noble work. I'm trying to remember what kind of requests we get from these guys. Concessions and assassinate. Elite warriors is pretty cool. Wash Rebellion. Ooh. Allows you to disband a rebellion by engaging them in battle. That's pretty nice. We might want to get some regard with this guy and hang on to that. To think we might have murdered each other on some Anatolian battlefield. Yeah, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Alright. Um What else we gotta take care of? Expired barters. None of the rest of this I'm all that worried about. Let's go ahead and end this another turn. Yeah, they're invaders. That makes sense. They're just like an invader faction. They're gonna go after my other tiny settlement up here. That makes makes sense. It's probably pretty weak. <clears throat> like to know whether our garrison, like how weak our garrison is, but it looks like it's about the same as the other one. Unless these guys are replenishing their troops, which they are. That's I convenient. They can just against... replenish as they go. That's Works out very nicely for them. Um, King of Hati. Prepare to march. Yeah, this march stance is going to come Join all the way the down garrison. here. So again, happiness improving quite nicely. We've just about got that settlement back close to on its feet. I wouldn't say on its feet. And then we Violence can... Is necessary. Violence is necessary. You know, I, I like the... Uh, I'm always ready. I like the mindset. I'm gonna move up here and try and head off these these raiders and then by putting in in this region I think it will improve happiness by being in the settlement it does okay so that's good we do need more happiness it takes a lot of stone and I need it for those other upgrades but at the same time like I've got to kind of turn the quarter sooner or later in this particular area Uh, just go down this route. Um, court action. Be seated, peers of the court. We have much work to do. We have an unknown plot against us. Who was it that allowed me to get rid of a um, best and bezel builder wages, make requests, connections? Oh, this is our guy down here. Nice. So we gained seven legitimacy. I thought there was one of these that could make it where we could get rid of a plot against us. That's a little builder wages. Maybe it was this one, the high commander. I don't know. Connections and assassinates. Well, I'm just gonna start getting some intrigue here. I did not All right, to find there we go. Company here. Yet here you end are. us another turn, and I'm gonna march towards An Ankyra. Ankyra. Um, if we take them out, we get a nice little boost of stone and wood. 
But I have to do it within 15 turns, and that started several turns ago. Hungry for war. So we've now got a chance All to knock these tremble. guys out. Get rid of these raiders. Going forth. Endless aggression. Take them down, please. Hopefully gain some skill points with this army and win battles like we said it was supposed to improve their abilities as a prince as well. Victory was never in doubt. We don't need the replenishment, so I'm just going to take the extra food there. Scamper off your Not much, but it's food. Ever I'm always hungry. Alright, without them in the province, we can actually push the happiness up a little. Which is a marked improvement over where we have been. I'm going to go Great off of the King march of stance. <clears throat> come all the way up here. King of Ready to move in to enemy territory. We want to wipe this faction out. It's going to be our next goal. We've improved happiness substantially here. Plus, we have that ability kind of standing by where we should be able to get rid of a rebellion. And look at this. We can get some stone production pack in line, which we pretty badly need at the moment. Got enough workforce to do both of those buildings. And pending actions. We have our court action. The thousand gods bear witness. Let's go ahead we and just to noble gain work. some steam here. And I'm gonna save up a little bit of stone. We do have an unassigned skill point to our newer Doing general, my duty. which is good. It's not getting some capability there. All right. I'm gonna go and take the war to our enemies here. It's been a long time coming, and they deserve it because they were really messing with me earlier. It's not a great position for me. Okay. Things are looking good, so I've got those two settlements upgrading. Should have more stone production online soon, and then I'm gonna do this to get some happiness rolling here. We certainly need it. Try and get that province settled in. Hati. There's a garrison here that we could take out along the way, so I'm going to move up and smack this down so we don't have to deal with them. It says we have to siege them. That's actually kind of stupid, but let's go ahead and do it, I guess. We'll wait here for a turn. Um, so continue the siege. I could probably deal with that, but, you know, let's let's do it. Try and do it the right the right way. All right. Let's see. Pending actions. Court action again. Hati commands us all, peers. Even me. Let's start gaining some influence king. with these guys. There's a plot to embezzle against us. And there's a blackmail plot going on. Already used my court action this turn. Okay, we could try and counter it, but I don't know if it'll still be going when we go in. Alright, so we'll check it out. The next one, Garrison General not moved. I will ascend. Is this commander here? I might go ahead and. I don't know Lord if we really need to, but I'll go ahead and move him south here. I, will I need to start building more outpost buildings too. They can help us out quite a bit. So as we start to get some stone rolling in, we'll want to check out those outpost be. buildings. We also need to secure a good source of bronze. Um, plus, if we can get a hold of more bronze. Oh, look, this dragged their army out against us. Perfect. Good. They have a lot of javelins and uh, six heavy spearmen. Uh, their spearmen will not perform amazingly, though. I should be able to wrap up around their flanks ultimately here. Get some good work done. Uh, Supaliliuma wielding an axe here. Which also should be entertaining. And we have the heavy chariots, so I don't think these guys are going to fare well. Alright, the battle's underway. Their reinforcement is a Kopesh bodyguard. I'm going to roll back here, similar to I've done in the past. I'm going to trap and destroy it singly while I set up in a defensive position. The remainder of their troops will move. Oh, crap, I forgot to deploy this unit. Run, gentlemen. Air forgot you. Flee for your life. Alright, so we're going to take care of that. 
Ready for battle! Fight and glory! I'm gonna get this Kopesh unit to turn. And then I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can with these chariots. Why do the chariots have a hold position? That doesn't make me through. If anything, they should have a position to, like, go flying through an enemy. Alright, they're... they have to move. They can't just sit here and let me charge them. So they have very little choice in the matter. I'm gonna smash this bodyguard. Ooh, devastating flank charge there. Took a big chunk out of those hit points. And now I'm gonna re retreat and... Deal them another one while I rear charge in the infantry. So we should be able to crush this Kopesh unit relatively quick. And I was able to save my two handed clubs over here. Fantastic. Curious to see where they go with their chariots in this fight. This additional bodyguard unit's about to be done. They do have a lot of javelins, that concerns me. Potentially cause a lot of damage depending on what comes into play there. We've now got that unit wavering, and I would expect at any moment it's gonna give up the ghost. Go ahead and scoot my chariots back this way. Kopesh bodyguard is done. I'm gonna take that club militia. Gonna swing these two units. Alright, so we got units incoming. All right, let's watch for where their chariot. I thought they had chariots. I don't see any yet. It's pretty certain they did. All right, let's counter charge their infantry. I feel like they've gotten themselves bottled up a little here, which may not be great for them. Uh, let's just bottle them up over here on the flank. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of their infantry bottled up in here. Just chase these guys. Let's roll these around. Let's bring Super Liliuma up here to help out. Same thing here. Let's get these chariots rolling. Alright, we got uh, bodyguards done. These three units are kinda hung up. Let's pull them forward. Okay. Actually move through there. I'm trying to put some fire into these javelin units back here because those javelin units are probably going to target my general. I'm actually going to put everybody in here into a defensive stance so that they don't chase units after routing. And I need my chariots. Just roll on through. Let's watch the friendly fire here. I'm a little bit lobbed here, but I'm feeling kind of okay about it. Let's move this unit over here. Yeah, see there, that chariot. I just wanted to pull it through that flank. We caught those javelin units out there, and here comes some more two-handed club units. All right. <laughs> I want to get my chariots over into these javelin units, and then this two-handed spear unit is actually pretty handy in a charge. They're not going to have amazing armor piercing by any means. I kind of want to get my two archers through that junction there as well. Let's throw in some more help here so we can keep their infantry fixed. The chariots are doing marvelous work. They've got 102 kills. They're absolutely trouncing all these javelin units. I'm lined up for a perfect rear charge right here. I've got a two-handed club unit rolling around for another rear charge. I've got a nice, solid infantry unit here. It's this one here. It's a medium class sword, but it's holding very well. To glory. Okay, of let's roll team. in. Through roll glory. through that gap. Roll through that gap. As commanded. <clears throat> Chariots. We let's go get lined up for a charge. Triumph it's a very voice. large fixed infantry line up here. We crush those. We crush their javelin men out here on the flank. I could have sworn they had a heavy chariot unit. Maybe I misread. Coming into that. Okay. Recharge time. <clears throat> These spear units are now getting crushed because they're surrounded. 
There comes that chariot charge. They were at 135 <coughs> or 6 kills. Let's see what they get up to. Now, these are heavy spear units, so we're not going to stay in that fight long with the chariots. We did get a decent number of kills. About, well, I say that. It's actually less than 10. So those are some... Oof. Yeah, we don't want any of that. We're going to get eaten up pretty quick there. Those guys have enough mass to resist that charge, even from behind. That is not going to be what we want there. So let's just open up on the back of these guys. They're archers. And I'll chase routing units with the chariots. No need to get my chariots killed here. We're going to win this fight. The enemy is hopeless here. They're being shot. I might actually move up closer and just really hit these guys point blank. And I'll be ready to protect my archers should they need to rise. And then again, as units flee, I'll bring my chariots in and crush them. These heavy spear units, though, they are going to fight like dragons. They are well armored. They're going to have high defense. All right, feed it to them. Give them the business. There we go. That's got to hurt. No shield bonus here. These guys are just going to be getting hit with a lot of pricklies. Yeah, they are going to feel that one. Those heavy spear units, though, putting up a very commendable fight. They have been relatively outnumbered. We've got two more club units we can bring up and help influence this fight. I mean, look how well these ones are holding out. Completely surrounded. Tarahona guides my hand. I wish it would tell me what that little... Is it telling me what's a high threat? Okay, yeah, it's a threat thing. I got it. I was trying to figure out what that little warning was. I think it's a threat indicator. Oh my gosh, we are racking up kills in the back of this heavy infantry. Just racking it up. Fire. Yeah, we're up to 83 kills, 89 kills. Yeah, these two units are about to give as well. So I'm going to surround them. And that looks like that is going to be the chain route that we needed. And I'm going to really make these guys feel the effects of that chain route by running down the survivors with my heavy chariots. And really racking up the kill count here. As if they hadn't taken enough egregious losses. But yeah, the AI kind of maneuvered itself right up into the paper bag and couldn't get themselves out of it. So it was my duty to oblige their death. Alright, chariots. I don't think we take damage from their fleeing units. I sure hope not. So I think we should be safe to just roll in here and start racking up the kills. Checking my hit points to make sure we don't start dropping. I've turned away any units that could friendly fire. I'm feeling pretty good about it here. Yeah, we're we we're definitely racking up kills here. I'm gonna try and keep my chariots on task here. They are all wrapped up in routing units. I'm trying to pursue this spear unit out here, but we are stuck basically on top of another one. There we go. Oh my gosh, we are racking up the kills. 243. All of these are heavy infantry kills too, which should really pad the stats nicely. Do I have this unit on defense? I do. Okay, that's why I didn't want to pursue either. Alright, let's just keep swinging around. That unit's going to make it off the battlefield here soon. All right, I'm going to pad the stats just a little bit more over here. Run down a few more of these heavy Anatolian spears. I'm no longer on guard mode, so... Yeah, there we go. See the numbers climbing, 266. Yeah, so we have made the enemy pay a dear price for sallying out against us. I'm glad they did. I don't feel like I get enough open field battles. Uh, I do like the open field battles in this game, but I feel like the AI sits in their settlements a lot. And uh, it's nice whenever I do get these big open field battles. They feel rewarding. 
And I was hoping we could put 300 kills on the chariots here. I'm, I'm getting getting greedy, but we'll just have to go ahead and end the battle. That should be good enough. We'll take the replenishment that we get here. Man, those 200 club uh, 200 club units perform so well on the charge. And these spear units, again, are good on the charge as well. They're good cycle charging, flank runners. They're not going to brace well against chariots, but if you can get them into the chariots, they'll cause a decent bit of damage, um, depending on the circumstances. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replenish here, because now we have left our enemies battered, Experience bloodied, and defeated. So, feeling quite good about that. These guys want some wood, and they will give me some food. I actually don't need it. We're okay. I have a huge nest bed of food right now, so we're just... I'm all right. Shimsu whore. Trade our court action. I do not wish to trade my court action. Okay. Who are these guys here? History will remember me. Are they also at war with these guys? Because Start the so assault. my answer is no. They belong to me. Charge all right. Them. Well, if I actually if I auto resolve this battle. I don't want to auto-resolve this. I actually want to back off of this retreat. We must withdraw. Because there's no need for me to waste my, my turn taking that little under. single unit. Attack I want to get enemy. up here and hit Ankara before they're able to recover from that savage beating that we just right gave now. them. It says that they still have the advantage, but that's only because the walls are in place and walls can be dealt with. Um, so there we go. I'm going to continue the siege. Hunger will start and I will see you on the next episode. But yeah, now we've got Enkira sieged. It's another lumber settlement. Man, I could really use some, uh, some bronze. It looks like this is the bronze settlement up here. And whether I'd be able to talk those folks out of any or not. And then there's another bronze settlement here just to the south of me. So, yeah. Anyway. Hopefully you all enjoyed this one. King Supla Layuma appears to be in better shape. We've got more stone coming in. We will have to take care of the bronze and food situation, but food will be improving. We have the right buildings. Those buildings can be further upgraded. We've got a good number of food settlements that we can kind of work up into the shape that we need them to be, and I think that will offset quite a lot. Um, so bronze and winning our wars will be our next focus. I will see you soon. Heir of Carthage, signing out.